I'm Dr. Willardson, and so here we're going to take a look at um, a case we've been working on here in the last few weeks. And you'll notice how the patient has an underbite. So this is what we call a class three. So where the lower jaw is in front of the, or the lower teeth are in front of the upper teeth. Also, you'll notice that the teeth aren't in the greatest shape. There's a lot of gum disease, periodontal disease, mobility of the teeth. And so in this case, we did have to remove all of his natural teeth. He has, he's missing all of his molars on both sides. And so, you know, it takes um, some planning in order to execute on a case like this. So the first thing that we'll do is take uh, molds or impressions of his mouth. We do a diagnostic wax up. So you'll notice here we've got some broken teeth, missing teeth, rotated teeth, the bite, the class three occlusion. We have to correct all that. So we want to mount it up on our articulator and determine, okay, what are, where are we headed with this situation? And so the first thing that we do is kind of, is like we're building a house and we need an architectural drawing or blueprint of the case when it's all finished. And you'll notice here, that's what we've done. We've corrected the bite issues angulation issues on um, the discrepancies of broken teeth or missing teeth. We've corrected all that in the uh, wax up. And so we go ahead and we get the patient ready for surgery, scheduled to have everything, um, have his teeth taken out. So we schedule um, the surgery, get everything ready for do the pre-op, do his EKG and his labs and get everything ready. So day of surgery, we're good to go. We have all of our temporaries ready and we know how we're gonna execute on this case where the implants are going. We know everything. So there's not going to be any, uh, you know, kind of random and haphazard placement of implants where there's bone. Oftentimes that's an excuse. Well, that's where there was bone. Well, we build bone, create the ideal uh, platform or space to place the implants and place them accordingly. So we have a nice even distribution of implants as well as, um, you know, aesthetically in the end, uh, it will just look so much better. Here is his uh, pre preoperative x-ray or the x-ray before we did the um, extractions. And there's just a lot of stuff going on, um, you know, deep pockets, pus coming out of a lot of these uh, areas, mobility, loose teeth, broken teeth. And so this required, um, you know, kind of a, all hands on deck approach into, okay, we have to do everything on this, on this patient. And so uh, here we have just some images of the implants placed on the upper jaw. And then here's the x-ray. You can see nice even distribution of implants in the back of the upper jaw where, we're, um, where we had to remove those, uh, what actually was missing is molars back there. We did sinus grafting to build the sinus up. So we don't avoid the sinus, we treat the sinus in order to give a more optimal aesthetic and functional long-term result. So this will last the patient the rest of their life. And so, and then here we see the after photo, and this is right after surgery. So, you know, we've made huge strides and every step that we take, we're making progress. We're not, and because because we know where we're headed. So when we know where we're headed, then we have an end goal in mind and as a result we're able to achieve optimal aesthetics and optimal function and more importantly that this will last this patient if properly maintained by the patient the rest of their life and so uh, glad to share this case with you all um, i'm dr willardson visit us at trustimplants.com